I'd watch that chair, sir. It's going to be reliable. You here for the Lee Valley Dairies reunion? Uh, yes. Uh, I think I'm a bit of the late side, to be honest. What with all the trains being up, the creek and everything, but... Right, uh, well, I've got a couple of messages for you here. A Mr Tom Jones rang to say, unfortunately, there's been some heavy flooding up on the Welsh coast tonight. Apparently a male voice choir was swept out to sea. <laughs> and the roads are all impassable, so... Oh, what a shame. Herbert Stranks is stuck in traffic on the M6 and doesn't think he'll be able to get here this side of Christmas. Alex Bendrix is very sorry, but he's had to fly to Hamburg on business at the last minute. And Bob Loft has decided it's too far to drive with his kidneys. <laughs> right. Oh, I won't be seeing any of them this evening. Albert Triplejoy is at the stay at home because his roof has collapsed. Walter Gook, who to say his pacemaker's been recalled by the manufacturer due to a lethal design fault. <laughs> Mr. Briddock, Limpy Briddock, is at the work overtime, so he's not sure what time he'll be able to make it. And this one Cheryl took down. I'm not sure I can read her writing. Derek Baker, is it? has got to go and visit his daughter, who's recovering from either a caesarean section or a Caesar salad. <laughs> a bald transvestite. But isn't that everybody who was supposed to be coming? Hang on, sir, I'll just check for you. Yes, it is. Now, <laughs> it will be served at nine, if you'd like to cast your eye over our menu there. Or it could be blood transfusion. Oh, right. So, I suppose... Limpy Briddock might still show up if he can get away in time, and I haven't seen him for 35 years, so... Uh... Oh, yes, I'm sure he'll be here well in time for the cab racer. I expect... <laughs> Cabaret?